Hello. I would like to talk today about one of the most common diseases that we see in our clinics, which is gallbladder stones. Uh, most of the cases come in female who has family history of uh, gallbladder stones. Usually if the female is fatty or it is in the middle age, like in 40 to 50 years old. Uh, gallbladder stones is simply like uh, accumulation of stones in the gallbladder. I can show this demonstration. For example, this is the gallbladder. Simply it is like a sac that contains the bile. The bile is essential to be secreted uh, then to the small intestine to help in digestion of the fat. So sometimes when we have increase in the level of cholesterol, there will be mixing of cholesterol with the calcium and causes like accumulation in the gallbladder that we call it gallbladder stones. Cholesterol gallbladder stones are the most common type of gallbladder stones. There are less common type like hemolytic disease that can cause bilirubin to be elevated and it causes uh, gallbladder stones. So when we have the gallbladder stones, uh, most of the time the patient is asymptomatic, does not cause any symptoms. We just discover it by doing imaging, like for example ultrasound to the abdomen that shows there are maybe one or multiple stones in the gallbladder. Some of them could be small in size or some of them could be large in size. Uh, if the patient is asymptomatic or just uh, simply we discover the gallbladder stones by the ultrasound or other imaging, usually there are no need to do surgery for these cases. Just we can observe, we can tell the patient uh, to keep low fat diet, to avoid uh, more, uh, let's say, growing of these gallbladder stones. Uh, in some cases, uh, when there are uh, special, let's say, uh, character of work, if the patient lives in a, away from the city or if it has high risk, uh, let's say, job like pilots or uh, some other uh, cases that they have to be away for several days, for example, in this case, maybe we can do uh, excision of the gallbladder, even if it is asymptomatic. Uh, but we usually cause excision or removal of the gallbladder when it is symptomatic. When it is severely symptomatic, I mean when it causes inflammation of the gallbladder that we call cholecystitis. So simply one of these stones can come and obstruct the duct of the gallbladder in this way. And when we have this obstruction, there will be inflammation in this uh, sac, which is the gallbladder. And at that time, we may have to do excision uh, to the gallbladder. In some cases, some of the gallbladder stones, they can go down and obstruct this organ, which is the pancreas. They can obstruct the stone. Uh, the stone can obstruct the pancreatic duct and it can cause inflammation of the pancreas, what we call biliary pancreatitis. Uh, uh, when we remove the gallbladder, we usually we tell the patient to try to keep on low-fat diet because uh, there are no more uh, storage of the bile. So uh, if the bile comes uh, profusely, it can cause uh, backwash inflammation in the stomach that we call biliary gastritis. Uh, other persons that uh, can not able to be managed correctly after removing of the gallbladder, they may have diarrhea or constipation that we call post cholecystectomy syndrome. It's not that much common, but we can see in these cases. So this is simply uh, like an uh, overview about the gallbladder, its function, and uh, the type of inflammation. Uh, and I hope uh, that every person can do uh, screening by ultrasound to make sure if uh, the patient has gallbladder stones or not. Thank you so much for your follow-up.